Dan Adams, a fully owned Ghanaian pharmaceutical company, was established in 2004 by Dr. Yao Edue J. Jemfi, a U.S. trained pharmacist. With its primary focus being the production of key drugs for the Ghanaian market, it has taken the lead in establishing a strong drug manufacturing base producing essential drugs. We decided we want particularly focus on production of medicines for HIV patients and malaria. Now, the company has over 60 drugs in its portfolio with the antiretroviral, crucial for the survival of HIV and hepatitis B patients and antimalarial being among its flagship drugs. It also produces Dafinac in the Diclofenac family, the reliable anti-inflammatory drug to reduce swelling and treat pain. Mentel, its version of Mebendazole that gets rid of six intestinal worm infestations at once. Dangil, the metronidazole that speeds up recovery time it's highly effective for treating anaerobic bacterial infections. And camosunate, its version of artesanate amodiaquine that keeps children healthy with an effective formula. Others are Dan Mitha, Dan Adams's Artemitha lumifantrine. It's a better tasting medicine made just right for children. This antimalarial comes in easy to use sachets that don't need crushing. Anapain, that makes the patient feel the power of paracetamol, yet gentle on the stomach. Anfin, just kills pains with effective ibuprofen tablets. And Anfin Forte, a strong and fast-acting painkiller. Also from Dan Adams's table are Deptrin, a combination antibiotic that eliminates bacteria which cause various infections, including urinary tract, lungs, ears, and intestines. Danciflox, a powerful antibiotic for wide-spectrum bacterial infections. And Antel, Dan Adams's version of albendazole. It's the intestinal worm destroyer, the highly efficient and antiparasitic medicine. For the Dan Adams Board of Directors, the key word is performance. We live in a country where more often than not, relationship takes precedence over performance. But we can't develop unless we begin to emphasize performance. So even as a board, we have objectives which we seek to attain every year and seek to evaluate ourselves at the end of the year to find out whether those objectives have been attained or not. So when the board itself is demonstrating that performance is the key word, uh, that culture translates downstairs to management, to the ordinary employee, and everybody begins to take a certain uh, look at performance beyond just only relationships. The management team at Dan Adams is one that is not just well qualified and experienced, but made up of a crop of fierce and unrelenting goal getters. We have a crew of very competent management staff, headed by a CEO who has a very palpably strong experience in pharmaceuticals. He's not just a, a chemist, he holds a doctorate in uh, pharmacy and very focused on performance. And has over the years demonstrated that uh, he's able to take this company forward. So I believe that the management that we have in place now should be able to deliver to, uh, beyond our expectations. I have over 25 years experience in pharmaceuticals. I have my doctorate in pharmacy my team, I have five expatriates from India, 100 quality assurance, 100 quality control. We have 100 production. We have one with product development and research. And the other person is basically the major, the, I mean, in charge of the operations. These Indians are training Ghanaians. Most of them have their master's degree so that we have local indigenous Ghanaians well equipped to be able to run this factory. So what we are trying to do with Dan Adams is that we are preparing the future.
of the former industry for Africa. For Dan Adams, the country deserves a top-notch pharmaceutical industry for which it is determined to set the pace. If you look at the quality of the product we are making, we want to prove to not only to Ghanaians that yes, black person, people are also capable of producing medicines that have the same equivalence in terms of therapy, just like the ones made in the UK or the United States. So we want to be a model company, a benchmark company that other in the industry that other companies can look on. Dan Adams' flagship product, the antiretroviral, has a huge market potential in West Africa. There are 5.3 million HIV patients in West Africa. Right now, less than 1 million are getting medicine. So when you look in terms of forecasting, the market for Dan Adams is big. Even if you have 3 or 10 companies still come in the HIV production market, there is still a greater market for Dan Adams. And we've been at the forefront. We have been producing HIV drugs for the past seven years. Experience is the best teacher. Of the 15 ECOWAS countries, nine, which are Francophone, do not have companies producing antiretroviral drugs. Dan Adams wants to become the regional manufacturer for these countries, as we now supply at least six Francophone countries from Ghana. So what we're doing here is to become a regional hub when it comes to the industry. The board of directors has already been given a West African sub-regional outlook to give it the capacity to make this happen from a position of knowledge of the market. And if you look at the composition of our board, we have Nanganians, an Ivorian, a Nigerian on that board. You should tell us, tell everybody our orientation that we are seeking to be not just a Ghanaian company, but a West African company. As presently constituted, Dan Adams believes it has one of the happiest groups of staff in Ghana whose level of motivation is second to none. The staff have constituted themselves into 12 groups going by various names uh, to challenge themselves as to which of them can bring out the best initiative for the improvement of the company, and they do this consistently. And for staff to voluntarily undertake such a program should tell you that they are engaged and committed to the company, and perhaps it may be just a sign that they are responding to the care they have been given. The key word that no worker in Dan Adams loses sight of at any point in time is quality. We take quality very seriously because we know we are producing something that can make a difference in life and death. So we never ever compromise on quality. This passion for quality has brought Dan Adams enviable recognition locally and internationally that are too many to recount here. In 2010, we were given the award of being the best manufacturing company in Ghana by the Ghana Club uh, 100. Beyond that, we have won also the 20th Golden Award uh, in Spain for excellence, business excellence. And then we have also been party to the Majestic Five uh, Companies Awards in Frankfurt. So clearly then, when you see all these awards, it should begin to tell you that you are dealing with a company that is not only recognized by its customers, but also by people beyond the frontiers of our country. To create sustainable jobs and produce relevant medicines for Ghanaians and Africans in general at a faster rate is the burning desire of Dan Adams. The time has come that we cannot continue to import medicines from India or China. We must make them here. We have percentage of our people who are diabetics, hypertensives, cholesterol, and all this. Why do we continue to import these medicines? Dan Adams is ready to be able to make these medicines available locally. The Kumasi depot of Dan Adams is responsible for the northern sector of the country. Due to the tremendous waves the company's products are making there and beyond, Staff there are strategizing to make an even deeper penetration of the market.
You look at our Kumase office, we just started the three-story building and then Tamale too, we have acquired a lot of uh, land that we are going to also build a bigger wholesale uh, warehouse there so that we can also supply even beyond uh, the northern region going to Burkina Faso and Mali. Expansion works are also ongoing at the factory in Accra as Dan Adams positions itself to take West Africa by storm. Right from inception, Dan Adams decided to focus on the production of HIV and anti-malaria drugs. From seven antiretroviral drugs in 2005, it now has at least 14 on the market, not only in Ghana, but the West African sub-region as well. Currently in Ghana, 80% of ARVs are imported. This, Dan Adams says, it is well positioned to reverse and be the dominant and reliable supplier to the Ministry of Health. With anti-malarials, its Danmetha and Camosunate range of products have proven to be the drugs of choice around the country and parts of West Africa. Indeed, the over 60 quality drugs it produces are playing a significant and indispensable role in the health delivery system in Ghana and the sub-region. Under its growth strategy, Dan Adams is poised to expand to cover the entire continent to fulfill its vision of building a strong company and creating a healthy Africa.